in this section 14, 15, and 16, we're looking at several functions and we're deciding how many roots they have. So I'm not going to do all of these, but let's look at the first two, f of x and g of x, to determine whether the function has zero roots, one real root, or two real roots. First thing we want to do is look at where the vertex of the graph is. So f of x has a vertex at 0, 0. h is 0 and k is 0. The negative 2 is the a value. So with the vertex is 0, 0 opening down because a is negative, we can see that this graph has one x-intercept or one real root. So I'm going to circle f of x under the one real root option. Here we have g of x with a vertex at negative 1, positive 2. This graph has an a value that's positive, so this graph opens up. And this graph never hits the x-axis, so it has zero real roots. So I'm going to circle g of x under the zero real roots option. So the other two you can do on your own, h of x and k of x. Sketch them to determine whether they have zero, one, or two real roots.